Panikin and Tarzade, those two are always the duo you combine together to get the first month YouTuber monster. Start breeding. Hey everyone, it's Armor Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. This is so funny. Why do I always forget about the Battle Pass? I always forget that that's a thing because I never even care about purchasing it. With that being said, we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about everything going on in this event. So for those of you that are new to the game, usually whenever we have a brand new season, there's going to be new players around because SP sponsors different YouTubers. And for this season, we have Face Rug. So for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to Monster Legends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to breed Face Rug. You can do it completely free to play, even if you're a brand new account. But I'm going to caution you because if you do that, you might be missing out on some of the other stuff in the event. Okay, so here we go. As you enter the game, if you click on the top right Face Rug event, Face Rug is a fire tank with artifact as a trait, burn and ignite skills. You can get them or collect yourselves in one, a breeding event, two, a monster with crazy event, three, the fraternity team event, two special offers, daily missions, and Face Rug's time limited book. Go for it. You have this event for seven whole days, but you also have the team race to get Orakati as well. So if you're a newer player, that's going to be more difficult because you have to decide, are you going to race? Can you even race? Are you with the team that can race? Or do you want to use your time trying to breed Face Rug? And that, yeah, that might not be as easy as you think, but let's go ahead and see. Let me just collect that real quick. All right, so let's start with the easiest event if you're going to spend money. All right, we'll talk about the free-to-play event uh, this, after this. But assuming you're in a team, if you go to packs, look at all these. These are all the different gems you can buy in the game. Right now, there's a 50% discount. This always happens. There's a 50% discount. It's the only time you should buy gems. If you buy a giant test of gems, when you click right here, which is purchasing item. Whoops. No, you don't need to actually click on that. When you click on the chest itself, it tells you you'll get 100 face rug cells. But here's the thing. You won't get 100 face rug cells. Your whole entire team will get 100 face rug cells. So for $50, your whole team can get the monster. If you click on the large chest of gems, hey, take a look at that. You get 50. You get half the amount. But if you purchase it twice, which costs the same as the giant chest of gems, your whole team would get 50, race, 50 face rug cells. So you can maybe, if you don't want to spend $50, maybe you can partner up with a teammate and be like, hey, you buy a pack, I buy a pack, and the whole team gets the face rug cells. But wait, you don't actually even need to buy the large chest of gems. Because if you click down here on the small chest of gems for $15, it also gives 50 race, 50 face rug cells. But also, more importantly, this is the main one. If you buy the bucket of gems, which is only $10, you also get 50 face rug cells. So the cheapest way in terms of spending money for your whole team to get it is to buy two bucket of gems. Everyone will get 100 face rug cells, assuming you click it, for only $20, the whole entire team. So some players think you only need to buy the giant chest of gems as the only one that is that is doable. No, you can actually do the cheapest way is the bucket of gems. And again, if you spend $10, maybe you have a teammate on your team that also spends $10. Now everyone will have the monster. The handful of gems, this one only gives five. So definitely not worth it if you're trying to get phase rug. So bucket of gems, purchasing two of them as a team is the cheapest way for your whole entire team to get it. All right, let's exit out of that. But now let's talk about the another way you can get it, which is actually breeding the monster. So if you scroll to the right, there it is. You got to make sure you click on Face Rugs Breeding Event. If you click on that, here are our breeding five different monsters from Face Rugs Time Limited Book. There's a high chance to get our new Metropolitan Star. Here are the combinations. So, for newer players, or really for anyone in the game, the best way to get this monster is by breeding Fire Kong and Greenasar. And the reason I say for anyone in the game is because if you fail, you get Santerion. Santerion is one of the only usable actual legendary monsters, a Forsaken legendary monster, in the game. All right, so you can get Face Rug or you can get Santerion. You're not going to go wrong with either, right? You're trying to get the brand new Metro Monster, but if you fail, you get a legendary monster that you can still utilize. He's usable because he has a permanent Megaton. So if you're fight if you're facing a monster that has Chill Long, if, if you're facing a defense that has Chill Long with Ignorance and Bliss, doesn't matter. They have to kill your Santerion. It's going to kill your Santerion, so your allies don't get frozen. So Fire Kong and Greenest are you can literally, literally, you can literally breed those monsters easily. Fire Kong is just fire and earth. Greenisar is just fire and nature. Look, I can literally show you right now. Oh, by the way, if you don't have the monsters, uh, let's see. If you go here to the breeding, to the hatchery, if you go to the hatchery right here, uh, my hatchery is full. Let me place this real quick. If you go to your hatchery, let's say you don't have the monsters. If you go to your hatchery, oh, that is, I got to buy the new Legends Pass if I want that slot open. All right. And you might, as a new player, you might want to, if, you if you're thinking about spending money, you might want to get that Golden Legends Pass. But if you click buy egg, and you go here to common, 
So there's Firestar, he's fire. There's Rockella, he's earth. And there's Treasard, he's nature. You should, you should start the game off with them anyways. Um, yeah, you just breathe them two together and you'll get your Fire Kong, your Green Star, whatever you need. So clicking back on face rugs, here, I'll do breed, sort of the little heart, actually not the little heart. Let's do fire, any fire monster will do, but I want to show you that you can do the commons. Oh man, you can't sort by, alright, let's scroll up. You can't sort, where is a, com... okay, here we go, so fire star, and then... Greenosaur. So let me find Greenosaur. He's probably at the very, very bottom. All right, where is Greenosaur? Ah, I don't have one. It looks like I don't have one unless he's like level 40. All right. Well, normally you would do Greenosaur. You really can just do as long as it's nature, nature, pure nature element, pure fire element. You click breeding, you're gonna get 30 seconds. That's either gonna be a Panikin or a Greenosaur. So that's what you're going after to get that first combination, to get that second combination, Green Star. For Fire Kong, you would do a Fire Monster with an Earth Monster. So Rockilla and Fire Star. And yeah, then you breed those two together. So I will try that. Um, you could also do Tarzape and Panikin to get Panikin. Same thing, Fire and Nature to get Tarzape, Earth, and actually that's Earth and Nature. So if if you breed those two, you'll get Blazinger or Face Rug. And then there's some other combinations for Vada Magma and Rockantium. You could also sub to Rockantium for Violet. You can do Draza and Oros. You can sub to Oros for Galante. And you do Frostbite and Razul. And you can sub to Razul for Galante Jr. You get Mega Labot with that one. Okay, who's a mythic monster, by the way? So if you're trying to collect some mythic monsters, you could go ahead and do that. All right, let me go ahead and click on that. And look at that. That is a Greenosaur, right? So it's literally that simple. That's all you have to do. If I click repeat, it's always going to be 30 seconds. So it says Fire Kong and Greenosaur. If I do that, here, if I click here, breed Firestar. If I click the little heart, it'll show all the monsters in the event. I actually renamed my monsters just to know who is with who because SP always does the same combination. So let me scroll down. Okay, see? X Panikin, X Tarsape. So now I know. All right, Panikin and Tarsape, those two are always the duo you combine together to get the first month YouTuber monster. Start breeding. And then what I'm looking for is a timer of... One day, 9 hours, unfortunately, is an epic monster. I'm looking for one day, 23 hours. Or one day, 22 hours, 59 minutes, whatever. That's what I'm looking for. That's how you know you got a mythic monster or a legendary monster. So this is unfortunately an epic. The good thing about this, if you are racing, is that you're going to need epic monsters. I mean, not, ideally, you don't want to clog up your hatchery, but you're going to need epic monsters for racing purposes, essentially. Now, what I will say is for newer players, if you rely on breeding, you only have one of these hatcheries open. So, if you successfully get the monster, you're going to clog up your hatchery. That can suck. Not to mention, monsters can only be put, mythic monsters can only be put on a mythic habitat. So, you got to make sure you have a mythic habitat good and ready to go. If not, you're just going to clog up your space and you're not going to be able to get the monster. So, what I would recommend, another way to get the monster is just by watching Monster Wood videos. But if you're a newer player, you might not have Monster Wood. If you do, though, you can literally just watch non-stop videos and get face rug cells and also get the new monster from the Legend Pass, the free-to-play one. Let me exit out here. You can get, let me exit out here as well. And I believe you scroll all the way down. Who will you get? You get Butcherang. You would get Butcherang. Oh, he's a free to play monster. Oh, shoot. I thought he was the exclusive one. Who's the exclusive one? Oh, this guy's the exclusive one. Okay, good to know. <laughs> good to know. All right, but yeah, there we go. Um, That is essentially how you get face rug. All right, you can just watch a bunch of videos here. Yeah, there's Butcherang right there, face rug cells. Also, the daily gold, after a while, after today, like today at 5 p.m., as soon as it refreshes, so in 11 hours, when you complete your daily missions, phase rug cells are also going to be there as well. And how else can you get them? I think, did we go over it all? So, phase rug event, so crazy, uh, monster with crazy event, frat event, daily missions, phase rug, limited time book. Yeah, so that's essentially how you get phase rug. But my biggest caution, once again, oh yeah, because you can also buy him, but I don't recommend it. Um, if you're a newer player... I've, I've said this all the time, I will continue to say it, if you're going to spend money on the game, really what you want to do is you want to spend money on the Golden Legends Pass, especially right now for newer players because you would get access to this extra slot so then you'd be able to not clog up your hatchery, which is obviously going to be super helpful. So here is, let's see what I get this time around. Uh, let's just go ahead and get rid of this Greenosaur and it is another Greenosaur. But yeah, if you're trying to get the combo, the duel, all you got to do is breed um, the basic elements together. All right, guys, so now you know how to get Face Rug. Um, I did do an exclusive first look video on him, so let me know what you think about him. Are you going to be trying to go for him? I mean, ideally, you should anyways. It's a free monster, right? So with that being said, guys, that is going to be for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to subscribe.